Today's video is about using Adobe Premiere to edit time-lapse photography into um, a video presentation. So this is from construction that was being done at the school last summer. A uh, time-lapse camera that we had up in one of the windows. You can see the reflection of the lights, which is kind of a pain. But let me show you what the end product is going to look like. Kind of a cool effect. You see things sped up very quickly. Um, so let me show you. Well, there's a lot of things are going to depend on your camera that you're using to the time lapse. We have one that we had purchased that is a specific time lapse camera. Well, there's two different ones that we showed actually that we purchased actually and tried. I'll show you how we managed to do both of them. This was from the better one, um, but. I'm going to show you one of the problems that we ran onto early on is you can determine on a time-lapse camera how often you want a picture taken. You can have it take one picture every second or one picture every minute or one picture every 10 minutes or one picture every hour. Uh, we decided on one picture every 10 seconds. So if you look at this kind of slowed down frame by frame, this is 10 seconds later, 10 seconds later, 10 seconds later, 10 seconds later. Um, and then when that's sped up at 30 frames a second, you have, you know, 300 seconds going by in one second or whatever the math is of that. Um, I think that was right. I feel stupid that I can't do that math. But um, one of the options that it gave us, at least on this camera, was what film rate we wanted the video in. Because this, this uh, would save the pictures as a video file, let's say that was an AVI file. That was the camera's way of exporting the um, time lapse. But um, at first we had put it too low. I think we put it at 10 frames a second or something like that. So if you watch this older video, you'll see this is still, you know, 10 seconds later, 10 seconds later, 10 seconds later. But it's it doesn't look like a, a video you know it's not quick and and kind of doesn't flow very well not like this one here where it's just kind of a flurry of movement and so what we want to do is make this 30 frames per second as well or 23.976 whatever it is so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the on the clip that we want to change and we're going to go to modify interpret footage oh it's actually one frame per second that's what we were watching so that's what it was shot as but we can tell it I want you to actually assume a frame rate of let's just do 29 for simplicity's sake um, everything else we're not gonna change I mean, these are all things you can change okay so now when I drag this into the sequence, it is now, because I interpreted the footage differently, going to come in not at one frame per second, but it's going to come in at 29 frames a second. So let's watch that same footage again. Now, just like the other one, we have this flurry of, mo of movement and you know it looks more like a time-lapse video instead of just a really boring you know, one clip every every second um, video. So that's how that's done. And then after that, I mean, you are at your liberty. It's just like another video. You know, you can use all the same tools to make it, you know, to drag it, to edit it, to do whatever you want to it. So after that, you are free to choose how it's going to best work for you. Um, okay, let me show you the other type of video that we were working with and how we made time lapse out of it. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I did not remember how to do this, and I want to emphasize once again how cool Creative Cow is. Um, totally find the answer. Found the answer right here. So uh, let me show you how to do this. I made a new bin. I'm going to right-click, import, and 
so what the second camera did is it saved it took one picture every 10 seconds but it didn't export it as a video it exported it as tons and tons of JPEGs I mean just tons um, so what we do is pick the first picture in the sequence and then tell it this is an image sequence and they have to be numbered sequentially which luckily this camera was smart enough to do and then we're going to hit open and it's going to import this Again, let's look at modify interpret footage because I'm not sure. Okay, so it is at 29 frames per second. That's good. That's what we want. Okay, so let's look at this. It's going a little jumpy just because my computer's having a hard time um, loading it that quickly, but it's working. It's shooting at 29 frames per second. So if you have your time lapse as still photos, let me show you one more time, just so you don't forget. Import, let's do a different one this time. So these are all also the same thing. I'm gonna get rid of the one of my face. Open, you do the image sequence thing, and there you go, it imports them all. And if you want it to be a different frame rate, you change that going to modify interpret footage and you can tell it what frame rate to assume.